hello everyone in the last video we did discuss about the advanced mapping how we did it and in this video i'm going to show you the live example from the plc program so on the output side as we know location number four we had powerflex 40 first 16 bits and location number five we had another 16 so total four bytes we are using here so first 16 bits according to the manual are predefined here as you can see what their mean are wherever this x is means if i put one here one command it's gonna be the stop command going into the vfd and if i press this one and make this zero that will start the VFD. So I took exactly the same thing. The first bit is a stop and the second one is start. I did program them over here. The first bit is start and the zero is stop. So on the screen, as you can see, if I press toggle this start, my VFD will start running. And if I toggle it, stop, it will go back to zero. And on this move, if you will notice that I created this tag speed reference. And this is the location where we were. We advanced mapped to the different location. If you look here, location number five right here, that I used it for the speed reference. And same goes for the input side. This is the local input card. For the feedback of speed coming from the VFD, I created this tag locally just to see, or I'm just moving from the input card or the input location of my device net scanner into this location. And if you see the location which is coming from feedback speed coming from the VFD is number eight. Now, this is the one way to do it. If I start my VFD again, you can see in the screen, it will go till 20 Hertz. If I change it to 150, it will go to 15. Let's toggle this again. So it will stop good now another thing we can do is let's go back to my tags and command register let's put this scanner into not to run mode one i'm putting run here it means it's in run mode as soon as i'm gonna put zero here and press enter my vfd will fault out because i set it up that way so now let's go back and do another way. Input PowerFlex. Now what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna take this 16 bits from here and put it on the back side, whatever it was originally. So let's do this. Delete from here, apply mapping. Come back here, use 32, apply mapping, close. You can see all 32 are here. Same, let's do the here. Advance, delete this, and make this one 32, the way it was before. Apply, yes, download into my scanner. Now, let's put this one in one, run mode, and clear the fault on the VFD fault is cleared so now I'm using on number four all 32 bits over here now my speed reference is not coming on the input side from other location or going from here if I start my VFD it will not go anywhere let's try that if it 
is taking from here as you can see it's not taking from here anymore if i put here 300 nothing is changing on the vfd side the reason why is because i'm taking it from somewhere else so for that i'm going to use a btd instruction that's really awesome instruction be honest so on it the source i'm going to use is double integer i created here and the bit is going to be zero so means i'm using this double integer reference which is on my local tag here and i'm telling uh, my program that start from the zero start taking from zero and now the destination destination gonna be on my output here i believe it's number four and bit gonna be destination bit gonna be 16 length gonna be 16 okay let's try that now finalize this and this means i'm telling it to start from zero bit of this and on the local output data number four location which is here my powerflex i'm telling it to start putting those values from this 16 number till all the way till 16. so if i put here let's say 200 you will see vfd speed will change and if I put here 100, it will go to 10 hertz. There you go. Oh, sorry, I was behind the camera here. Let's put it back here. 150, it will go to 15 hertz. As you can see now, the location now at this point is this on number four. And I'm telling it to start from bit number 16, the length of 16. So that's all about it in this video, how you can advance map and use it from the move commands like that. If you don't want to do the advanced mapping and you want to use the whole thing as this over here, 32 still you can manipulate the bits with this bit field distribute instruction and you can choose any bit in any uh, location addresses like that thank you